Hey guys, welcome back to Not Timmy 66. How's everybody doing today? <sighs> Would the United States military take up arms against its own people? So, being prior military myself, um, I feel like I have a little bit of qualification to discuss this topic, and the question was brought up in one of the comments or an email that I received in regards to the next civil war, um, or the next big insurrection, and the government brings the military in, would the military act with prejudice against the citizens of the United States. And to understand my answer to that, you just got to kind of see where I'm coming from a little bit. When you join the military, the military is a machine. And the military is keen on making sure that you as a armed service member are going to basically do whatever they tell you to do. So is military brainwashed? No, not so much, but they are masters. Like I was in the army and they are masters of propaganda. They will tell the service members, look, this is exactly what's going on. This is exactly what you need to do. And they don't really give you a lot of why and you're trained to really not worry about a lot of why as far as why I'm doing this, as long as they let you know that what you're doing is just and what you're doing is for the good of protecting the country as a whole. And for my military guys out there and gals out there that are maybe watching this, Please don't get the wrong impression. I am not maligning you in any way, shape, or form or saying that you're just a bunch of brainwashed idiots or whatever. There are a lot of military people also out there that are free thinkers. So would everybody just, I don't know, go herd American citizens into camps or um, use excessive force to control a population? Not necessarily all of them. There are, I guess what I would call, independent or free-thinking minds out there that may not, you know, agree with the order of the day and may feel inclined to disobey or just refuse the order. There are those out there. But the majority of the military establishment or not. And it's because the people that are in the military, the leadership of the military basically have taken the military and said, you know what, this is your best option right now. There really isn't much out there for you. The military is all you got and you signed up to serve. One other caveat I want you guys to keep in mind. You guys remember back when it was the um, get vaccinated or not and uh, companies were saying, look, you really can't go to work for us if you haven't been vaccinated, blah, 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 blah. Do you guys remember what happened to the military? you guys remember that they either had to take the jab or they were processed out? And that was not a joke. Either you took the jab and got the vaccine or you were processed out of the military. Man, there was no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You either did it or you didn't. You're either on the team or you were off the team. And if you stop to think about it in a way, that was a very, very, very good way to weed out those free thinking people. Just a thought there. Look, I'm not saying that there's some kind of revolution imminent and that the government's going to use our armed forces against us and all this other stuff. I'm really not saying that. I, I have no prediction of that in our near future whatsoever. But I am saying that if it came down to it and the military had to be deployed for whatever reason the military had to be deployed to protect the populace and to keep order would those military members follow orders? 
And I would say majoritively, yes, they would. And just for the reason I laid out. They're going to follow the orders. They're also going to be true believers in whatever they're being told as to why they're being ordered to take the actions that they're being told to take. So those of you that feel strongly about this, leave a comment and let me know what you think. And it doesn't just have to be here in the United States. Think about it worldwide. Think about your country that you're in. Think about your military. And I would love to hear your perspectives as well. But here in the United States anyway, I'm sorry guys, the order is given, the military is going to go out. And most of the military people are going to believe the narrative that they are told and sold by their superiors. Guys, if you really like this video, if you got something out of this video, please feel free to share it out. Let's get the word out. Let's wake up as many people as we possibly can. Um, I appreciate everyone that is subscribing to the channel, leaving all the comments. I do read them all, and I appreciate them all. You guys feed me more information than I ever could get on my own researching it. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any further uh, videos. And uh, leave me a comment and let me know what you guys think. Not Timmy 66 signing out for now. Everybody have a good day.